Hello again, it's Matt here from Practice Perfect. Welcome back to the Accelerated Learning Center. Today we're going to talk about how to use the contact logs. Let's get started. Step 1. Contact logs are an extremely helpful tool for keeping track of the communication between your clinic and a patient, payer, or any other contact that your clinic works with. They're great for staying on top of broken promises too. To start, ensure that your contact log categories suit your needs. To pull up a list of all your categories, select housekeeping, tasks, and then contact log categories. The contact log category describes the nature of each conversation or task. For example, Perhaps a log entry would be collection related, or insurance coverage related, or appointment related. You can have as many categories as you wish, and they can be used for filtering when reporting on overdue tasks and promises. To add a new contact log category, press the green plus sign. Step 2. To access a patient's contact log, highlight the desired patient and select the Client Contact Log button from the function bar. Note that contact log entries can be created for any kind of contact in your system. Contact logs can be accessed from a variety of places within Practice Perfect, whether it's the scheduler, the client detail view, or even the activities by service screen. It's always easy to get to the contact logs. This list can contain records of every correspondence between your clinic and the patient in question, which could include your conversations with the client themselves, their insurance company, their physician, or even maybe the recording of an account statement or a fax being sent. Take note of the information available from this view, the contact date, the comment, the comment category, the follow-up date, and the completion status. It also lists the username of the individual who created this entry and the responsible party, which is a staff member at your clinic who will be doing the follow-up. Step 3. Now I'm going to show you how to make a new entry. To do so, press the green plus sign on the function bar. The following panel will appear. In the comment category section, select one of the categories that you created or modified during step 1. Note that you don't necessarily need to select a comment category, but the contact log is much easier to manage if you do. The contact date will automatically be populated by the software. It will assume that the contact log will be recorded for today's date. The comment section is where you write a description of the correspondence. The responsible party section provides you with a drop-down list of all of your Practice Perfect users. For example, if the entry is tied to a task that requires a follow-up, this is where you select your staff member who is responsible for doing so. Lastly, set a follow-up date if this task requires action by a specific date, whether it's something you need to do or a commitment made by someone else, such as a payment promise. Please remember that not all contact log entries will require a follow-up date. Sometimes you're just recording the details of a conversation and no further action is required. If you'd like to be automatically reminded on the follow-up date, check off the box next to Create Reminder and a reminder will pop up on that date. And when you're pleased with the entry, click OK to save it. Step 4. Notice that pressing OK returns you to your list of contact log entries. Anytime you want to revisit an entry and make some changes, simply flag it and press the edit icon on the function bar. If you decide you want to use the contact log, you'll find yourself editing a lot of entries based on their completion. This way you can easily see what's already been done, what hasn't been done, and avoid any confusion. Step 5. To get an overview of the contact log entries, particularly the follow-up tasks yet to be completed or promises broken, you can do so by clicking Reports, Tasks in Clinical, and then Contact Log Follow-up Report. Doing so reveals this panel here. It works as follows. Under Report Date Range, you can choose the dates you'd like to be included in the report. 
You can then choose whether you want the report to include all contact log entries made between a certain date range or just the ones that have a follow-up date between a certain date range, which is generally the more popular option. Under Details, you have a few options for further customizing your report, including whether or not you want your report to only show incomplete items and contact phone numbers. And finally, under Show Options, there are quite a few things you can change regarding the individuals who will be included in your report. For example, under Contact Type, you can choose whether you want your report to be tailored towards patients, providers, or physicians. For Category, you can choose the comment category of the contact log entries, and the list goes on. When you're happy with the report details, click Preview to ensure that it looks the way you want it to and includes all of the information that it needs to include. Thanks for visiting. Be sure to check out the other accelerated learning videos at practiceperfectemr.com. Bye for now.